Hello, I'm opening DevOps Engineering and also the track car consultation. If you are interested to have private session with a technical or architectural discussion with me, just check in the description below. Hello, in this video, I will show how to install Tracker with the Postgres SEL using the Docker Compose. So the idea of using the Docker Compose is actually to make it is easy uh, for the replicating this process in the single command only using the Docker uh, Compose app. So the idea is simple. So when you install the Tracker, actually it will coming along uh, with the Postgres as a dependency. So we need to make sure that the database, in this case, we choose the Postgres. Postgres actually will be present first before we run the Tracker. That's why uh, in this Docker Compose, we define two services. The first one is the Postgres, and the one for the database, and the second one is the Tracker. And inside the Tracker, actually, we put the depend ons because we need to run the Tracker after the Postgres is ready. So also, in this part, we do the some uh, configuration on the environment variable. In this case, is the Postgres DB because we want to create a non-default database, and we call it a Tracker. And also the database for for the Postgres user for this database we set uh, to this one. And to make the data persistent, actually we use uh, some volume. So you can see here for the for this volume we we mount that for this path. So basically the data the data for the Postgres SQL will be stored in the Docker volumes. And that's also applied to the tracker. As you can see now the tracker logs will be mounted. To this folder so later we can do some troubleshooting and then for the configuration we also mounted to the slash property tracker conf slash tracker dot xml because this is the main configuration that we need to have in the tracker and for the rest it is like the usual we use the default port 8082 for the ui and then this range of port to accept the uh, data from the sensor uh, for the tracker itself so since we are using the postgres for database i will explain a little bit about how we can connect to that so in the tracker xml we need to define the database driver to be our postgres scale driver and then for the database url like the usual we need to put the gdbc because it is like using the java database connector and then the postgres scale as a type and then this is the host name of the uh, postgres in this case it will be the tracker postgres one and then also the database name the database name it is the one that we define in the postgres db which is the tracker and the rest is the database user we use the postgres uh, as default but for the password this is the one that we configure in the docker compost so this uh, this one okay so now let's try to uh, deploy both the tracker and also the postgres ql using the docker compost and let's see so first let me ensure that there is no process running in the port localhost 8082 okay nothing here so basically now what we can do is we can do docker compose uh, up minus d i want to do some detach because i want to make sure the process is running on the background and something like this you can see here the network is created the volume just uh, created and then you can see that the counter is created and then starting and something like that so you see the postgresql is started first and then the tracker so if you do something like this in the logs uh, tracker logs you see the process uh, it's running so you see like there is some uh, table creation and also some uh, summary of that and you can see now that actually the tracker is running on a part of 80 uh, 82 so now we have both like a tracker and also the postgresql is running fine and to check that we can simply do curl localhost 8082 and you can see that there is a response on that curl command because previously it was like uh, connection failure because there is no services that bind into that port okay so now we are good now let's try to check on the ui side and we will expect to have the uh, login UI on the web because uh, we haven't configured the tracker yet. So when we click this one, see, uh, the first one is actually the register. We put admin here, admin at local, and the password we can put uh, admin to, admin, and just a register. So now we already registered here and just try to login. So at this point, we already have like functional tracker running on the on the system itself uh, using the postgres and also the tracker uh, container so let's try to send some data uh, let's create a new device poc tracker uh, id uh, 
also identifier also same let's try to save this one and now let's try to send the data to the tracker ui because we want to ensure that actually this tracker is running fine with the configuration that we already uh, configured in the docker compose now let's try to send the http uh, request uh, for the protocol osm and let's see whether it will it will be accepted by the tracker so you can see the port is uh, 5055 and the destination is on the local host okay now let's send it and you can see here coming to online now previously it was on it was offline and now it is online because we got some uh, data from the api and that's it so basically you already have the postgresql running to be a database for the tracker so you can create that easily without any issue in maybe less than five minutes in the single command and that's it you will have everything ready for accepting new data for your uh, sensor so if you have any question don't forget just to drop that in the comment don't forget also to like and also share this video and see you in the next video